this coming Saturday. By the time you hear this, it will be underway. Uh, it's at PC Richards. That's the appliance store. 120 East 14th Street. Hey, down on 14th Street near Union Square. I think it starts between 1 and 2. Anyway, you won't hear this before 2. So if you hear this and you want to go over there, hop on the subway and go. Food stamps uh, are... Uh, passed out as block grants, subject to cuts by fascist governors. Imagine what's going to happen. Uh, Medicare, voucherized. Medicaid, block granted, savagely cut. That undoubtedly includes S-CHIP, right? The child health insurance uh, program that's built into that. Why do this? Uh, the Republicans, in their uh, ideological insanity and full fury, believe in the balanced budget. And they say, well, there's a danger in the future that we're going to have um, a, some kind of a problem with the budget. So what we've got to do is absorb every possible negative consequence today. Massive disinvestment in education, health, the middle class, and everything else, right? The question is often... Are they on the Chinese payroll? Are these Republicans getting money from Beijing to destroy the United States and deliver total world domination to the Chinese? Well, if they were, and some of them, I believe some of them are, and we don't know because of Scalia over there and Citizens United, um, we just don't know. But this is exactly what they would be doing. Now, their goal is to reach balance. They'll never do it. We've explained why. It just won't work that way. The more you cut, the bigger the deficit will be because the overall level of economic activity will decline, dependent as it is from uh, on uh, government spending in a depression, in a depression, which is where we are. Uh, they say they want to cut $5.5 trillion out of the federal budget over a period of uh, nine years. And they, they're going to go to uh, vouchers for Medicare in the eighth uh, year. I guess they've, they've been burned enough, so they, they take the, uh, the uh, uh, sort of slow and uh, uh, circumnavigation uh, approach. The caps, the sequester caps, the limits on the various categories of spending stay in place. Yes, they keep them. The Satan sandwich of August 2011, Obama's absolute folly, but he accepted it. Uh, he, might, he actually proposed it under duress, right, with a gun in his back, uh, trying to avoid uh, default and, and breakdown crisis. So the caps stay. In order, however, to increase military spending, despite keeping the caps, these clever Republicans have come up with a $40 billion war account that's not subject to sequestration. So that can, uh, that can come in there. Now, they claim to get to balance at the end of the process. Uh, the cuts, the Republicans claim that they're cutting $5.5 trillion over the decade, $550 billion a year, half a trillion plus per year. The Congressional Budget Office says the House actually cuts $5.3 trillion, and the Senate cuts $4.9 trillion. Uh, now, uh, of course, the, the Washington Post and the other uh, austerity ghoul news organs are saying, yes, but we've got to increase taxes and, above all, cut entitlements. That's what they want. The Republicans say that this budget of theirs is best taken together with a simplified tax code. Let's make it simple. Let's simply lower the top rate on the fat cats, the predators, the hedge fund hyenas, and so forth. Just lower that top rate. No problem. Uh, now, in the Senate, it was 52 to uh, 46. A couple of uh, very important points. The earned income tax credit and the child tax credit disappear. They're gone as of October 1st of this year, because we're talking about the FY fiscal year 2016 budget. Earned income tax credit and child tax credit are for the poor, for lower income groups, right? It's a way to get a little bit of money back based on uh, working but being poor or having a child 
and being poor. Uh, this means uh, the combination is that 16 million Americans, 16 million, will either go into poverty or they'll be pushed into poverty of this group. 8 million are children. 8 million children go into poverty because of the lack of the earned income tax credit and or the child tax credit. But of course, it's all in a good cause. What's the cause? To repeal the estate tax. Repeal it. The oligarch tax, the plutocrat tax, what they call the death tax. It's Franklin D. Roosevelt's attempt to claw back some of the ill-gotten gains from the predators and parasites of the financial ruling class of the 1930s. Well, now it's going to disappear. Now, exactly who is this? You, In order to be subject to the uh, federal real estate tax at the present time, you have to be uh, at an estate of five and a half uh, million dollars per couple. Uh, this applies to about 3,700 estates per year. So look at that trade-off. Eight million kids, 16 million total Americans go into poverty or deeper if they're in it already. So that these 3,700 parasites, fat cats, and predators can project their money down to their imbecilic offspring. Uh, the Export-Import Bank, um, we're not sure, but it looks bad. Remember Jim Jordan, Republican of Ohio, and his Kamikaze Caucus, calling it the Freedom Caucus, they're trying to wipe this out. How about this? Cutting Pell Grants. <laughs> this is now uh, 9 million poor students, uh, about Two-thirds of all black students get these Pell Grants. Half of all Latino students get these Pell Grants. It's a grant of about $5,775 per year. Uh, and it costs $34 billion to, get, to keep these 9 million kids in, um, in, uh, in college. This is something that Obama actually doubled. This is one of the unsung uh, minor uh, good deeds of Obama. But now they want to cut it. Uh, and it's not exactly clear how, but the answer is savagely. By the way, when they cut food stamps, they're also cutting Head Start, Breakfast for Kids, and WIC. See you in a minute. As the new world order continues to tighten its grip on every facet of our lives, we're all asking ourselves, how can we maintain our independence? The answer is clear. Get prepared and you get prepared now. Now the only question left is where do we begin? My Patriot Supply is here to help. Call 800-247-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. We're even covering the cost of shipping. Are you willing to rely on the government and FEMA in the event of an emergency? Call 800-274-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. You won't be able to find this deal online, and there is a strict limit of four per caller, so don't wait. Call now, 800-274-3070. That's 800-274-3070. Call right now. Attention taxpayers, if you've received a notice from the IRS or state, do not ignore it. It's also a big mistake to try and handle your tax problem on your own. If you owe back taxes, it's a fact that the government has the power to take everything you own, including your home, business, wages, savings, and your freedom. But here's the good news. There's a special toll-free tax hotline set up especially for you. This tax hotline will tell you about new programs that are geared to help you dramatically settle, reduce, or eliminate what you owe. But you have to call now. Take down this number or put it in your cell phone. But call 877-345-7645. That's 877 877-345- 
345-7645. When you call, you get free information on how you can reduce or eliminate back taxes, including penalties and interest. You can also be helped if you have unfiled returns, a tax lien, wage garnishment, bank levy, or if you have been entered into a payment plan but can't make the payments. Don't make the big mistake in thinking you can ignore or handle your tax problem on your own. You can stop the collection process immediately at 1-877-345-7645. That's 1-877-345-7645. 1-877-345-7645. Quantitative easing, unemployment at depression levels, Europe financial system falling apart, China getting out of U.S. treasuries. At the end of 2008, the time of TARP, the national debt was at 11 trillion gold, trading around $850 per ounce. Close to 2012, the national debt exceeded 16.4 trillion, gold doubled to $1,600 per ounce. The 20 trillion threshold for the national debt is inevitable. Politicians in Washington have a ferocious appetite for spending and stimulus. What's worse, a printing press to finance. A hundred years ago, we had a gold standard to limit this madness, but now you have to adopt your own gold standard. Don't be fooled with paper promises. Get Midas Resources 10 Reasons to Buy Gold free by calling 800-686-2237. Understanding the gold and silver market may be the only insurance you could have to avoiding the next economic crisis. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order your free copy. Again, that's 800-686-2237. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. While well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Results will vary from case to case. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GC. All right, we've been looking at the monstrosities of the Republican budget. Let's let's get some more. Um, they want to privatize the air traffic controllers. Can you believe that? They want to downsize the Federal Aeronautics Administration and privatize the air traffic controllers. And the issue is something called NextGen. It's a $40 billion uh, investment. Some of it is borne by the airlines, but uh, somehow... Uh, It's for this guy, Micah, John Micah, Republican of Florida, reactionary. Uh, He wants to uh, to farm this out. He's probably got some rich friend who wants to buy it and loot it and asset strip it and then throw it back on the junk heap. And the federal government can pick up the wreckage. That's the way it usually works. Uh, There's also the question of the highway trust fund, which has now run out of money again. And it's got to be renewed by about the end of May. So May 31st, May 31st, that will come up again. Uh, now, um, the Republican budget also contains $1 trillion of unspecified cuts. They've got a scalpel. They've got a hatchet. They've got a saber and a lance. But they're not going to tell you exactly who's going to get hit. This is the so-called magic asterisk. Right? They'll say, this doesn't look like it balances, but we are going to balance it because we're going to have $1 trillion in unspecified cuts. Uh, there also, there's also uh, some action going on around payday lenders, loan sharks, uh, absolute ripoff operations, right? and how they prey on uh, working families who can't make ends meet, and then they get into 
a descending spiral of usury and slavery? Well, the answer to that, of course, is to uh, reintroduce usury laws as we had them in the pre-Volcker era. 10% was the top interest rate you could charge on any loan, and that we would be very well advised to go back to it. So I think we've touched on at least 